Well, uh, the folks that are going to find cooking maybe to be a bit of a challenge are the people that are going back to work after being home on mat leave. We've got Melanie Ng here to talk about her experience. Breakfast Television Toronto, mm -hmm. and uh, we were so excited for you when you announced your pregnancy. You went on your maternity leave. It did. You're just back at work. You've been back for I don't know two weeks. A, a fresh week. A fresh week. Yes. That's it. So it's still very, very new. I want to talk about when you were on mat leave. Mm -hmm. um, having Josh, it was not easy. Nope. You had this year with him. Did you ever think at some point, I don't know if I want to go back? Yeah, you know, I think I think everyone goes through that. Yeah. It took a while. Like, obviously, we, we had some challenges through IVF and when we had him. And so when I, everyone said the year's going to fly, it flew like yeah. crazy. And then I stepped back at one point and I went, I'm actually and getting good at this. I'm finally getting the hang of it because I took the full year. I was lucky to be able to take it. Mm -hmm. And near, like a lot of people, they're developing near the tail end of the year, right? Yes. Like they're starting to chat and communicate. And so I thought, is, am I going to abandon him? You know, and then you feel that mom guilt. Yeah. Going back to work. Should I go back to work? Luckily, and I'll be honest, I, I love what I do. Mm -hmm. We love what we do, mm -hmm. so that makes the difference. Yes. But that's not the case for everybody, right? And so yes. for many people, you're battling with, do I go back to something I don't love to leave something I adore? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, these are hard decisions. Yeah. So you knew you, knew you were going to come back. You love the job. Yes. Um, you come back to work, but before you come back to work, you got to go through that thing oh. where you're like, are we doing daycare? Are we doing a nanny? Do we do grandma and grandpa? Do mm -hmm. we give them to the mailman? Like, who's watching this child? <laughs> the dog can babysit, the right? Yeah, like, can the dog watch you? Yeah. Like, I don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, how did that decision process happen for you? Uh, for us, so I have a unique job, and you've worked in this role before, right? Yes. Morning television. It's early, 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 early for you. Early, I'm out the door at four, right? Yes. Uh, and my husband travels a lot. Ideally, I'll be honest, I wanted to do daycare. Yeah. That was my first thing, because I wanted him to socialize. Everyone says it's so right. important for babies to meet other babies, learn from other babies. And so I got on those waiting lists, which are not fun, depending They're on awful. the city you're in. I was maybe two months pregnant, I got on a few waiting lists. Uh -huh. By the way, I got into only one of those. Uh -huh. And I got a call saying, you didn't get into the other one. It's as if my child's going to college or university. <laughs> or you, you didn't get in. You didn't make it. You didn't make right. the cut. Um, <laughs> so, but for us, we had to go the nanny route. Yeah. And that was tough for me because in my head, I thought, nanny's the one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Right? Is this gonna? Is it gonna feel like this is his new mommy? You know, mm. it, that it sounds really strange. But daycare, mm -hmm. I can no, drop I get him it. off with the other kids. Yeah. And he's not that he's an anonymous face, but he's one of the kids. With a nanny, someone's coming into your home um, and takes your place. Yeah. And that was the hard part. But we did do the route, that nanny route. It has luckily worked out well so far. But man, it kills me every single day when I come home and if I see them giggling or, you know, yeah. you feel like, am I stepping into their place now? Mm -hmm. yeah. You see that connection. On the one hand, you're so happy because they're being cared for so well. Absolutely. On the other hand, you're like, I'm your mother. I'm mama. Me. I am mama. Me. Exactly. I made you yeah. and then you came out of me. Just like that. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so the first time you left him, uh, we all go through something different that first day. Some of us are like, start the car! <laughs> get out the door like, yeah. um, I may or may not be referring to myself. <laughs> but uh, other, other um, parents have a really tough time that first time because you, mm -hmm. you feel like your baby has only known you. Yeah. And now you're leaving your baby with someone else. So what was mm -hmm. it like the first time you left uh, Josh? So we did a crossover week, right? Yeah. So the week where you, you train the nanny, um, you leave her alone for a few hours here, a few hours there, you step out. So that was my real first taste of it. And I will never forget that my first, I said, you know what, I got, I got to go shopping. I haven't shopped for myself without being rushed through, you know, with a, with a stroller for a really long time. And I've got to get some brand new stuff for work. So let's do this. And I was excited to go to the mall. Yes. And I thought this is the perfect outing. Tr leave the nanny with Josh for, for two hours. And they were upstairs in his nursery. Yeah. And I went downstairs and I heard them giggling and laughing and playing. Mm -hmm. And you love it, like you said, you love it, yeah. but it's just ugh. And I walked out the door and I just Balls. broke down. I broke down, I went to the mall, I saw moms with their strollers, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I, I, I broke down. I went into a shopper's drug mart and broke down yes. in a baby aisle of all aisles that I happened I, to choose. I, the baby <laughs> aisle. I look over and it's all the baby food in the diapers and it was just... I it get was, it. It was, uh, you know, 
let's be real, it, it is tough. And yeah, people tough. don't talk about that transition and how hard it is. So coming back to work, the good news was is that I with those hours, I didn't have to say goodbye. I didn't have to kiss him goodbye that morning. That's true. But that night, I kissed him goodnight and I went, this is the first time in one year your mama won't be here when you wake up. Mm. And I think my, my husband actually heard me talking in the monitor because I said, it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Mama's not going to be there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and I'm, it's still, you know. <laughs> upset too now. Um, but, and he came in and he, we had like a little family hug. Yeah. And it, you know, it's it's different. Many people go through it, but it's it's tough. It's it tough. Is. But you know, he's in good hands now. But man, yeah. I think there isn't a parent out there that doesn't understand. Like we yeah. all get oh, it. Wow. Like, and it's there's so many different you know fighting emotions. So it's tough.